the pyramid of the robot. I'm pretty sure that a good amount of subscribers to Super Mario Logan know who Jeffy is. But in case you don't know, Jeffy is a very controversial and infamous character in the SNL fanbase. He's known for having autism, and he annoys Mario and other characters all the time. In my opinion, I think Jeffy is an extremely offensive character due to the fact that it makes fun of people with autism and other mental disorders and makes them look bad. What's worse is now that the Super Mario Logan fanbase is filled with a bunch of whiny Jeffy-loving brats who harass you and even threaten to dox you if you do so much as you said anything bad about Jeffy. I mean, the harassment has gotten so bad that one YouTuber shut down his channel to stop the cyberbullying. I can tell that Logan is extremely tired of using Jeffy in almost every video. But due to fear of losing his subscribers and receiving death threats from his fanbase, he just keeps giving in to his fanbase which is understandable because I did hear that Logan has anxiety issues. It was pretty obvious when he was filming SML movie The Watch, where JJ pranked Logan into thinking that he pawned a watch that his grandfather gave him, and Logan responded by physically attacking JJ, who is a minor nevertheless. And there was one time where Logan yelled at Chili for ripping up a Jeffy decoy. Honestly Logan has really gone off the deep end ever since Jeffy got introduced as a character. Especially because of the fact that his videos have started losing their advertisements and getting age restricted in 2017. Logan has thought of making a video of trying to get rid of Jeffy by either trying to kill him off, or have him sent away by foster caretaker, or be shipped off to a mental facility. I did think that Logan was going to get rid of Jeffy in the movies that he was planning on making in 2017, but I doubt it's going to be released now. I did however see a new SML video in my recommendations even though I wasn't subscribed to him personally. The video was called, SML Movie, Jeffy's Demise. I don't know what tempted me to click on the video but I did anyway. The video started with Mario in the kitchen, making Jeffy's meal while he was mumbling and really which went on a bit too long and should have been cut shorter to avoid making it look like a filler. The scene went on until Mario ran into Chef PP. Chef PP asked Mario why he was angry. Mario explains that Jeffy has been a lot more demanding lately and he's tired of it. Chef PP then asked Mario. Well what do you want me to do about it? Which did get a chuckle out of me. Mario said nothing as he makes his way towards Jeffy and placed his plate of chocolate cake and chicken nuggets in front of him. Jeffy thanked Mario as the latter began to mumble something angrily under his breath. Jeffy then started to eat his food messily until it cuts to the former finishing. He then made his way towards the couch, not saying a word as he lies down next to Mario. Jeffy looked horrible. He looked extremely overweight and he was breathing heavily. Mario then stares at Jeffy extremely shocked and gave the latter a lecture about eating healthier. Big lecture Jeffy then started to grunt a bit in pain and clutch his chest. Mario pretty much didn't do anything but tell Jeffy to stop it like what he usually does. That was when Jeffy then collapsed on the floor. Mario then started to panic and checked Jeffy's pulse. He then realized that Jeffy has stopped breathing. Mario then decided to call the doctor explaining the situation. I was kind of excited to see the Brooklyn guy in this episode. He's one of my favorite characters in SML. The Brooklyn guy then appeared and beefed at Mario for calling 911 due to the fact that he knows that it's not an emergency as usual. But Mario explains to the Brooklyn guy about what happened to Jeffy. That was when the Brooklyn guy then checked Jeffy's pulse and tried to use CPR to revive him but there was no success. The Brooklyn guy decided to give Jeffy an x-ray because he thinks that there's something in his heart. The Brooklyn guy then rushed Jeffy to the hospital to give his chest an x-ray. It has been revealed that a piece of chicken from his meal has somehow got stuck in his heart. The Brooklyn guy then tells Mario that he needs to give Jeffy surgery immediately. Mario then started to worry more and is worried about Jeffy's surgery and how much the surgery itself costs. The Brooklyn guy then tells Mario not to worry about the cost just yet as he rushed Jeffy into the surgery room. That was when the Brooklyn guy operated on Jeffy and started cutting into him. What's strange is that the Jeffy puppet that the Brooklyn guy was cutting into was the original plush, which I find pretty jarring because the original maker had a hard time attempting to recreate the original puppet. The Brooklyn guy continued to cut into Jeffy, trying to fix his heart as he hooked Jeffy up to a heart monitor. 30 seconds into the operation, the heart monitor then flatlined. 
It's then cut to Brooklyn Guy telling Mario the bad news as the latter begins to sob softly. The scene then cut to Jeffy's funeral and everybody was crying at his funeral. All of them except for Junior, Joseph and Cody. It cut to them having a conversation and what I heard was the most messed up and awful thing that I have ever heard in an SML video. The things that Junior and Joseph said was extremely horrible about Jeffy, making fun of his mental problems, and imitating him and staging a temper tantrum like him. That was when Cody yelled at the two and called them both. Freaking morons. And what Junior said next really made both me and Cody's blood boil. Junior said. Wow. I can't believe you would offend such an autistic freak. That really offended me because I'm autistic myself and it really made me want to punch Junior. My desire to punch Junior has been granted when Cody landed a punch on Junior so hard that it knocked him out of his chair. Then Junior grabbed Cody, threw him to the ground and then started to punch him in the face repeatedly, effectively breaking Cody's glasses. Cody then rolled over and proceeded to strangle Junior. This was certainly something I have never seen Cody do ever. I mean Cody has beaten the crap out of Junior before but he has never strangled Junior before. Mario and Joseph proceeded to break up the fight and restrain the two boys from hurting each other more. Cody then yells that he's leaving and Junior yells. Fine, whatever, you're stupid anyways Cody. Joseph then starts to shake violently and say. You two are insane. I'm out of here dudes. It then cut to the rest of the SML characters except for Junior, Joseph and Cody at Jeffy's burial site. Everyone was carrying Jeffy's coffin up a hill and once they got to the top, they proceeded to bury Jeffy's coffin inside the ground. The video then focuses on Jeffy's coffin one last time before burial as the SML question is seen. What would you do if one of your friends has a heart attack? Best comment wins a free video game. I was pretty shocked at what I saw. I mean the episode was okay for modern SML standards, but a few scenes should have been toned down for younger audiences to handle, and I think that Junior was wildly out of character since he and Jeffy were supposed to be close friends. But I am pretty glad that Junior got what he deserved and got the hell beaten out of him by Cody, but other than that, it was a very underwhelming video. Despite it being mediocre I tried to download the link but the video said that it was deleted. Despite myself being a little miffed about Logan deleting the video because that means I can't show it. But I did realize that if I show it then it will damage Logan's reputation. Maybe that's why Logan hasn't uploaded a video on trying to get rid of Jeffy and I think that it's best if he never does.